Hey folks, Will here again with Happily Ever Outdoors. So in this quick tips video, we're gonna learn how to start a fire using a ferro rod. So keep watching. Ferro is actually short for ferrocerium, which is kind of like a composite of iron and a handful of different rare earth metals. And that's what actually makes up the rod itself. And the way it actually makes sparks is by scraping some of that soft metallic material off. You'll buy some ferro rods that'll have a built-in striker like this, um, but really any hard 90 degree edge will work. Now, when I say strike, some people misunderstand and they think of like hitting the ferro rod, kind of like you would do with an old school flint and steel, but that's not how a ferro rod works. It's really more of a scraping motion. I'm going ahead, just good long strokes, steady. I'm using the hard surface that I've got right here to kind of steady myself. And you can do it just like that. Just remember all of your uh, actual spark throwing isn't coming from an upward scraping motion. You're not trying to scrape this way. You're just scraping downward having a knife with a hard 90 degree spine, which I recommend and a lot of people do as well, uh, because you can strike a ferro. And that simply means that basically the edges, the top edges there are not rounded off. So they're hard, you can feel they're kind of sharp. And what this does is it gives you a nice large surface that you can use for striking a ferro rod. Now I've heard a method recommended, I've used it a little bit, uh, which is where you can actually hold the knife and pull your ferro rod away like this. And the idea behind that is that if you've got a delicate little you know, piece of tinder down here, you don't want to disturb, that um, you're not gonna push down into it. Um, you can try that out, see if that works for you. For me, I really haven't found that much of a use for it. A lot of times, if you just be mindful on your ferro rod, you just get used to having that control that you stop a little bit short. Like that. Um, I'd never really had issues with that. But in a pinch, let's say you lost your striker uh, out in the woods, but you were near a beach and you found a glass bottle. Glass actually works very, very well for striking a ferro rock. All you gotta do is find a good sharp edge on it. Alright guys, so especially early on, you're not going to be familiar with finding good dry tinder out in the woods. And truth be told, even when you get a little more experience, most people are going to carry some stuff out with them anyways. So there's a lot of examples of stuff you can get that's store bought that's going to help you out. Um, cotton balls soaked in um, Vaseline, that's another common one people like. And dryer lint as well, which is one that I tend to lean toward. It might be easier for you to go ahead and get this started before you put it in the stove. That way you're not trying to reach down inside there and end up cutting your knuckles on it or anything like that. So I'm just gonna set this on a leaf so I kinda got something to grab onto uh, once we get the spark. There we go. And then we can take that and just transport it inside of our camp stove. It's not just about getting that initial flame. You can see we have our dry tinder. We were able to get that initial flame going, but that's not going to last for very long. So if you do not have some other dry materials set aside, ready to go, you're not gonna be able to get a sustainable fire. Before you spend too much time focusing on getting that initial flame, make sure you've got your fire prepped um, so that as soon as you get it, you can go ahead and start putting that dry material on there. So what I'm really gonna be looking for is basically dead standing uh, material because that's going to give me the best shot of finding dry wood. So now that we're better prepared, let's go ahead and try that same technique again. All right.
All right, folks, so I hope this beginner quick tips video on using a ferro rod was helpful to you, or maybe you've got a friend who's just getting started and you could do us a favor and go ahead and share it. But either way, a ferro rod is a great survival tool and it's just a fun way to make fires when you're outdoors. Of course, if you have any questions about what was shown in this video or you need a little clarification, drop that in the comments below. Until next time, stay happy, stay outdoors.